the first civilian governor of Lagos has been described as a legend who left behind a great legacy. Public office holders, as well as politicians who came to commiserate with the family on the death of Latif Dakonde, made this known in Lagos. Olawako was at his residence uh, and returned with this report. Many come in to confirm if truly the first civilian governor of Lagos is dead. Condolence register opened and public office holders and politicians drop in their messages. One of his children said the late elder statesman was a family man who showed deep interest in all his children. I can only say that, you know, for me, Human being that I can say, you know, with all modesty, that you know, he's service to humanity. He has a very, very strong passion for that. That's what he stands for, and that's what he lived for to serve humanity. He was described as a great man whose active participation in politics and governance brought huge development to education and housing in Lagos. A great philanthropic, a great Lagosian, and a pioneer, an architect of a pioneer Lagos state, and a modern, an architect of modern Lagos, who lost a touch bearer, lost a father, lost a leader, and lost a link from the old and the past. But in Nigeria, ah, we lost a great power. It's part of those who laid the foundation of what we are building upon today. And uh, it has the escape of the, uh, the entire legal state in it was in his hand. And when he was a governor, he reflected what he has done, reflected the entire Lagos. And that is what we are building upon today. Latif Jakonde was the governor of Lagos between 1979 and 1983. He served the nation as Minister of Works between 1993 and 1998. He died at the age of 91. This is the condolence register opened in honor of the late Latif Jakonde, who passed on at the age of 91. And for those who have come to fill this condolence register, they're saying it is a celebration of life for the person who has contributed.